Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us today to learn more about the Notice of Intent, or NOI, to fund up to $1.3 billion to catalyze investments in transformative carbon capture, utilization, and storage technologies. My name is John Brown, and I am the Stakeholder Engagement Lead for the Carbon Capture Demonstration and Large Scale Pilot Project Programs at the Office of Clean Energy Demonstrations, commonly referred to as OSED. We are pleased to be speaking with you today about this upcoming opportunity with funding from both the Carbon Capture Demonstration Projects Program and the Carbon Capture Large Scale Pilot Projects Program. In this webinar, we will provide you an overview of the programs, key information on this funding opportunity, next steps, and resources. First, please note that this webinar will only include publicly available information provided from the Notice of Intent. Attending this webinar and watching the recording are completely voluntary and will not impact the future application process. In the case of any inconsistencies between the NOI and this webinar, the NOI document is the controlling document. Next slide. Today, we will be covering a high-level overview of carbon capture at OSID, details on the carbon capture demonstration and large-scale pilot projects programs opportunity, including project eligibility and key application requirements. And finally, we'll end the session by covering next steps, information, and resources to help orient folks to future touch points with OSED and other resources available to everyone on the call. Next slide. The carbon capture demonstration and large scale pilot projects programs are an important part of OSID's portfolio in support of OSID's mission to decarbonize the energy system. Alongside other programs within the office, we work to deliver clean energy technology demonstration projects at scale in collaboration with the private sector to accelerate deployment and market adoption. OSID's mandate includes ensuring an equitable transition to a decarbonized energy system. We want to invest in projects in the safest and most transparent way possible. Community input not only shapes the specific projects OSID funds, but also shapes our comprehensive approach to building out the clean energy industry. Next slide. Now let's dive into some more details on OSID's carbon capture work. Much like OSID's overarching mission and office, our programs aim to drive initial market adoption of carbon capture and storage, otherwise known as CCS technologies, to ensure the economics of CCS is improved so it can be widely adopted, especially in hard to decarbonize industries. Next slide. The carbon management portion of the OSID portfolio has three main programs. The Carbon Capture Demonstration Projects Program, Carbon Capture Large Scale Pilot Projects Program, and the Regional Direct Air Capture Hub Program. These programs are designed to accelerate the demonstration and deployment of carbon management technologies. In doing so, we want to support efforts to create good paying manufacturing jobs, reduce pollution to deliver healthier communities, and reinforce America's global competitiveness in the clean energy technologies of the future. Next slide. Here is some information on the current status of the funding for carbon capture demonstration projects. As of October 2024, seven of the eight front-end engineering design studies have been awarded for the demonstration of commercial scale carbon capture technologies integrated with CO2 transportation and geologic storage infrastructure. All three projects selected for negotiations have been awarded phase one funding. Here's some information on the current status of the funding for carbon capture large scale pilot projects and the regional direct air capture hubs. As of October 2024, three of the four of the selected carbon capture large scale pilot projects have reached phase one awards. For the regional direct air carbon capture hubs, most recently, September 2024, an NOI was issued for funding of up to 1.8 billion. Next slide. This map helps to illustrate OZID's progress in funding projects since funding was initially granted in December 2023. OSID announced projects selected for award negotiations followed a rigorous merit review process. Of these projects, 
eight are carbon capture front end engineering and design, other known as feed studies. Four are carbon capture large scale pilot projects and three are carbon capture demonstration projects. Also note that across OSID's portfolios, we have over 20 projects that have a component of carbon capture, including the industrial uh, projects and hydrogen hubs. Next slide. Now that we've covered that, let's get into the details of the NOI release last month. Please keep in mind that there could be changes to these details between now and the final notice of funding announcement, or NOFO. And with that, I will pass it off to my colleague, Corey Silva. Thank you, John. My name is Corey Silva, and I'm the Acting Coordinator for the Carbon Capture Demonstration Program. The funding in this NOI can be broken up into three different topic areas. The topic areas include large-scale pilots, commercial demonstrations, and network infrastructure planning and design. These three topic areas contemplate a total funding amount of $1.3 billion for point source carbon capture, which reflects the remaining funding from the provisions available for new programs. This new funding opportunity aims to bolster the development and commercialization of carbon capture technologies with significant investment targeting the design, stakeholder engagement, construction, and operation of large-scale point source carbon capture projects. With that, let's dive into some uh, project funding details and requirements. Topic area one, which is tied to the carbon capture demonstration program, will provide up to 750 million for commercial scale carbon capture demonstration projects integrated with CO2 transportation and storage infrastructure to advance technical maturity, reduce uncertainty in cost and performance, and increase the potential for the technology to be replicated and deployed at additional facilities. You'll notice the topic area one is divided into 1A and 1B. Topic area 1A will fund up to one demonstration project at a coal-fired power plant. Topic area 1B will fund up to two demonstration projects at industrial facilities that are not purposed for electric generation. In this, um, on this slide, we have topic areas two and three represented. Topic area two, which is tied to the carbon capture large-scale pilot program, will provide up to 450 million for large-scale carbon capture pilots that demonstrate transformative technological advances in carbon capture, enabling increased capture efficiency, reduced cost, and improved environmental performance. Topic area three will focus on infrastructure planning and design as part of the carbon capture demonstration program, and will provide up to $100 million for the planning and design of shared CO2 transport and storage infrastructure that nearby carbon capture projects can use. I'll now go into more detail on topic area one project funding. Although topic areas 1A and 1B have different application requirements, the overarching objectives and key attributes for both are similar. As part of topic area one, we're working to advance the technical maturity reduce uncertainty in cost and performance characteristics at a commercial scale, generate operational data sets, and increase investor and end user confidence in the timelines and capabilities within this industry. The key attributes of a successful carbon capture demonstration project include building and operating commercial scale demonstrations of carbon capture transportation and storage, capturing CO2 from an entire train or unit, and transitioning to sustained operations following project completion. As mentioned, there are some key differences in the application requirements between uh, topic area 1A and 1B. First, let's focus on topic area 1A, which requires that applicants capture carbon from a coal electric power generation facility. All applicants must have performed at least a pre-feed study on the carbon capture system. The project should utilize carbon capture technologies that were piloted on the same or a similar flue gas for at least a thousand hours. Captured carbon must 
then be transported and either geologically stored or utilized. Now let's focus on 1B. The key difference here is that this topic area targets industrial facilities not purposed for electric generation. Facilities should be commercial scale, allowing the project to capture at least 300,000 metric tons of CO2 per year. Projects should utilize capture technologies that were piloted on the same or a similar flue gas for at least 1,000 hours. The requirements are for the applicants to have performed a pre-feed study on the capture system and to have a plan to transport and geologically sequester or utilize the captured CO2. And now I'll pass it over to my colleague Gokul to share more details on topic area two project funding. Thanks, Cory. Uh, my name is Gokul Vishwanathan. I'm the program manager for the carbon capture large scale pilots program here at OSED. Uh, the objective of uh, topic area two project funding is to advance large scale pilot projects to improve carbon capture efficiencies, reduce costs, reduce emissions, and improve environmental performance. Uh, the key attributes of a successful large scale pilot project include the project being able to capture at least 75,000 metric tons of CO2 annually at an industrial facility or from a 25 megawatt or larger slipstream at a coal or a natural gas electricity generation facility. Additionally, the project must demonstrate the ability to capture carbon oxides at a substantial carbon capture efficiency. Overall, the goal is to scale and thus de-risk these transformational carbon capture technologies for accelerating their commercialization. Topic area two also includes an optional phase zero. Uh, applicants that are already performing small integrated pilot scale prototypes will be eligible for this portion of uh, topic area two uh, project funding. The small integrated pilot scale should have a capacity of uh, a minimum of three metric tons of CO2 per day, uh, and they should be able to capture the CO2 for at least two months uh, using either real flue gas or synthetic flue gas with similar composition temperature and pressure uh, uh, with respect to the flow gas of intent. Uh, again, I want to emphasize that phase zero is optional for technologies that are that are in progress to achieve uh, TRL5. Approaches of interest for the large scale carbon capture pilots, uh, pilot projects program include, but are not limited to transformational solvent systems, sorbents, membrane, cryogenic, molten salt, oxy combustion, chemical looping, and hybrid systems. Uh, proposed approaches should demonstrate a substantial improvement over commer current commercially available offerings. Application requirements for topic area two include the project being able to demonstrate a substantial improvement over the current commercial offerings, the project having either already begun or completed relevant prior scale testing, demonstrating at least a TRL of five. Uh, now for the last topic area of project funding, I will pass it on to my colleague, uh, Michael O'Connor. Thank you. Thank you, Ogle. I am Michael O'Connor, and I am OSED's strategist for uh, both geothermal energy and CCUS. Um, the objective of Topic Area 3 projects is to improve the economic viability of CCUS by coordinating the key development, uh, the development of key groups within the CCS value chain. The Topic Area is focused on localized CCS networks. OSED defines a localized CCS network as having at least two emitters, geologic storage for emissions, and a pipeline that connects them within about a 50-mile radius. Successful TA3 applicants should be able to demonstrate that the networking of multiple emitters with transport and storage capitalizes on economies of scale and overall improves the project economics for the network. By the end of the Topic Area 3 award, DOE aims for networks to make progress towards satisfying typical conditions to closing project financing for all the entities that are involved in the CCS network, reducing the timeline risk that currently exists in many CCS projects. These deliverables include financial modeling, technical design, site control and permits, and offtake agreements and conditions. It is important to note that the award can fund the cost of achieving these planning and design milestones. For a TA3 application, requirements include having the uh, CO2 storage and transport facilities have performed prior design work. Having prior design work will be crucial to ensure 
that projects can be completed within the scope and budget and time allowed. However, CO2 emitters are not required to have performed any prior design work. Regardless of the topic area applicants apply to, OSED requires that all must include a community benefits plan, otherwise known as CBP, to ensure the prioritization of cleaner energy as well as justice, equity, security, and resilience. A successful CBP accounts for community and community labor engagement, diversity, equity, inclusion, and accessibility, investing in the American workforce and the Justice 40 initiative. Next, my colleague John Brown will share some of the anticipated timelines for the funding as well as some upcoming event and material information from OSED. Thanks, Michael. Let's walk through the anticipated timeline for the NOFO. I want to drive the point that even this very general timeline is just an estimate and there could be potential but unlikely changes in the process that's outlined here. The timing uncertainty in particular increases as we move out further out. Uh, but we do anticipate that NOFA will be released before the end of this year. Then during the spring is when there would be concept paper submissions, encourage or discourage notification topic areas and pre-application. Then we would start the application submission deadline in summer and then in winter do the selection announcements. Next slide. We are excited to share that the Department of Energy recently released its carbon management strategy. You can access the report through the QR code on this slide. We are seeking out feedback on the strategy until December 10th. If you have comments you would like to submit, please send them to carbonmanagementstrategy at hq.doe.gov. Next slide. This slide provides more details on how you can stay in touch with the carbon management programs at OSED. The links will be provided in the slides that are going to be available on the OSED website. Please don't hesitate to reach out with questions and concerns to the CC Pilots OSID email address listed here. On behalf of all the speakers, we appreciate you taking the time to join us to learn about this exciting point source carbon capture NOI. Thank you and have a great rest of your day.